806 driver, BB trucking. Trying something a little different today. We're going to do a little FPV, first person view. Uh, I don't think I've really done this on this channel at all. I've, I've done this, I've had it on my, wearing this GoPro on my head whenever uh, I'm loading a piece of equipment or whatever, and that's about it, but uh, uh, I'm on my second round uh, for today. We're hauling some rock from Borger, Texas, which is about 60 miles back, and uh, we're just now pulling into the west side of Amarillo, come around the loop here, Amarillo, Texas. And we're gonna go right down Sansi Street, and uh, we're gonna go down here to the south end of town. And right here on this loop, they're building an overpass, and that's where we're gonna be. That's where we're gonna be dumping this route. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. That big old orange Peterbilt. I don't know how good y'all can see outside. I don't know if the GoPro's kind of overexposing uh, what you can see between that white hood. And, uh, uh, and just the glare might be kind of hard to see. But uh, now it's another, I don't know, four or five miles over here. Come to police. But uh, let y'all ride through me. We're gonna go here. We got a belly dump hooked up. Uh, I got about 83,000, what's my ticket say? about 83,800 pounds we have overweight permits we can haul up to 84,000 as long as we stay off the interstate we are about to cross underneath this uh this overpass we're going to go underneath right up here is i-40 the interstate 40 so i'm jumping this right lane here and uh jump in this right lane and then uh, after we go under the underpass it turns into a three li three lane left road and um, that'll put it should put us right in the center lane i like to stay in the center lane especially going down the uh, busy busy city streets so leave yourself an out y'all leave yourself out like my boy dion melvin says uh Smith system. Use that Smith system of training. And that's one of the that's one of the call signs for uh, Smith system is leave yourself an out. Keep your eyes moving. Scan ahead. And I, I can't remember what the rest of them are. It's been a while since I've been through a Smith Smith class. Throw down this window a little bit, see if y'all can get some, uh, little bit of sound of the, the old kitty cat pond. Pretty day, 78 degrees. It's, uh, lunchtime, 12 o'clock. I think after we get empty, we're gonna go to the TA over here off of I-40. And we're gonna grab some Popeye's chicken. And we'll go back to the pit over at Borger, Texas, and we will reload one more to bring over here, so uh, I'll do this uh, first person view as we're going in there as well. From the... Yeah, like that clearance light. That's my Uncle Adam talking back there. I got, we got three of us running this. So I don't know if y'all see them in them rear view mirrors or not, but Jerry's right behind me and then my uncle it's right behind no me. Here. They're just not very bright. They're just like, like this. They've got the little clear light look. I like he's having some light issues. Alright, we're in the three lane now, y'all. Well, we've been in the three lane, I guess, since we came through that lot, but uh, try to stay right here in the center and just ease through town here. This little road, especially on the weekend, this is over here where the mall, the mall in Amarillo is and all the 
all the main stores, Lowe's, Home Depot, hell about everything you can think of, all the eating joints, everything's over here, so. Busy part of town. My luck is I always catch every catch every light. Got my cut clutch brake finally adjusted up good though. It's it's not a it's not giving me too much trouble anymore. Here we go, here we go. Maybe uh, maybe I'll be my good luck charm today. Maybe I'll catch this light and we'll catch the rest of them all the way here. I think we got about I'm gonna say we got five or six, maybe seven lights to go through, so. We're on Sonsi Street, Amarillo, Texas. S-O-U-N-C-Y. Still there's Coles. Old Navy. All the places you gotta go to put clothes on your kids' back. There's the Applebee's. I grew up here in Amarillo from uh, nah, when I was in the third grade up till about the middle of my freshman year. Then we moved back to Memphis, to the little little small town of Memphis. So, which to some of y'all, Amarillo is probably a small town. It's got 200,000 people, but to me, this is this is the city. So, old lot right there has been green for a while. I don't know if we'll make it yacht, y'all. Put a quarter in it, put a quarter in it, we're going. Gene Messer Ford. I bet your 806 Junior Bubba liked that orange Mustang that was sitting back there. That's why he thinks he's uh that's what that's what he wants for his uh for graduation. Got a new restaurant right here on the right. It's called Walk On Sports. Sports something. It says game day with the Louisiana Kitchen. Now, so it might have some uh, Cajun food and probably like a B Dubs. Y'all know what B Dubs is, right? Buffalo Wild Wings. Wild Wings with a uh, but a Cajun version of it. I bet you what it, what it is. Um, right here on the right. I'm out of here. Ah, it's still up here a little ways. We got Sakura, Japanese steakhouse. My wife and kids, they love that place, man. It's good, it's real good, but man, it's expensive. Japanese steakhouses are expensive. There it is, right here on the right. Between that visor and everything else, I don't know if y'all see or not. Got a Academy Sports and Outdoors up there. Probably one of my favorite stores to go to. Sure do spend a lot of money in that place. That's another red light. Hey, we did pretty good, y'all. We, we made it through one of them. Made it through one. This one just turned green, so. I should have gotten that right lane where we could have been easing on up there, but leave yourself now, right? Leave yourself now. Make it easy on you. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Some people probably don't like I, I kind of have a hard time uh, watching these videos on YouTube when they're filmed like this. kind of makes me uh, motion motion sick but I know there's a lot of people like it so uh, now I might start doing a few of these every now and then just to kind of kind of break it up and have a little different different perspective check them mirrors got caught up the lot back there. Y'all still back there, Adam? Oh, yeah, I'm stopping here. Here's what you want to do. 
Ten four. I got lucky. I caught two in a row there, I think. Coming up on the ladder hillside right now. It, hell, it, it's green for a long way, so it's probably going to catch me. Go in the roses and get something to eat. Right here where you see me. 
gonna wait on these fellers to catch up and then we're gonna go get something to eat and I'll catch up to y'all to uh, do a first first person at the loading when we're loading. Catch y'all in a minute. Switch to channel five, switch to channel five. About to pull into the pit here, y'all. Big creek, sand and gravel, border, Texas. That's where we're at. Hang us right, right here. Hello, how about you, Well, that old white hood just has a lot of glare on it, doesn't it? Hey, while, while I'm thinking about it, uh, happy truck driver. Man, radio. Happy truck driver appreciation week. All week this week. Um, some people have mixed emotions on that, you know. I wanna, I wanna say I appreciate all of you that are truck drivers, especially all y'all that support the channel. And I would, you know, I was always one of them kind of people that feel like you shouldn't be rewarded for just doing your job, but a little pat on the back don't hurt every now and then. You know, you can, uh, you can kick a dog kick a dog and kick a dog and only pet him once now and then but keep kicking him all the time eventually that dog is going to bite you so you know you just gotta I, I, I appreciate you I appreciate all y'all and all you former truck drivers and I appreciate everybody who uh, who checks out our channel here so that being said we're uh, rolling in here to the pit we're going to get loaded up here. Um, let y'all see what running uh, a complete round through the pit lift slot from the from the driver's seat. You can see we left the uh, city, and we out here in the we're out here in the in the pasture now, out here in the country. So. Got a couple old bulldog mags coming at us here. Oh, well, I'm right now. Gotta watch them bulldog mags. They're running you over. Trying to chase that cat under my hood. Ain't bad as them little bulldogs can't run as fast as a cat can usually. <laughs> One thing I've always noticed about them old ranchers, there's an old ranch hand right there behind it. Coming up behind, behind those sudden the red pickup. They never wave. I guess it. Man, it's, they got broke wrists or something. I worked in the oil field for a long time and we meet them old landowners out there and stuff. You drive right by them, shoot. They won't wave at you to save their life. Where I come from, we're all just a bunch of poor old farmers or hands of farmers or whatever you want to call them. And we wave at everybody. Good looking old Peterbilt. Peter built the truck for a man to drive. The way that song goes. Climb the hill, climb the hill. It's funny coming up and down that hill there, they got it uh got it sectioned off where you can go down one side and up the other so you don't come together coming down that it says keep left hey you think they'd make that thing say keep right like everybody else does my uncle was talking about that this morning i said hell don't you remember we we're in australia this morning i turn this radio back up we're gonna have to go across the scales 
These scales are tight too, y'all. I need to move my fifth wheel forward a little bit. I barely fit on the scales. Just barely. It's made for these little old short wheelbase Max and Freightliners that run in here, a lot of day cabs. It ain't made for these stretched out Peterbilts. Got some Popeyes, got a uh, spicy chicken sandwich for lunch. Pretty good stuff. Looks like we might be sitting here waiting for a minute. Jerry, he getting out doing something back here. Looking at his uh, brake lights, I guess. Looks like they're working all right to me. So here you got a truck coming off the scale, coming out there loaded over there. I don't know if y'all can see him from here or not. Yeah, we got one coming off. Eighty-three nine, eighty-three nine, boy, come out of there, perfect. Oh man, hell, y'all ain't drove in three weeks. I'm kind of tired, and I. We started about 4.45 this morning, left the yard right at 5. It's a little after 2 right now, so we're going to load this one up, head back to Amarillo, about an hour drive back to Amarillo, unload, and then we'll head to the house, about an hour and a half drive to the house from there. So, that's the plan, anyway. That is the plan. I was hoping we kind of get in and out of here. Last time we came in here, we, we rolled right in and rolled right out. <clears throat> well, what y'all think about this uh, first person view here? Something a little different? Make you sick? Gonna look down too much. Truck one coming off scales empty, picking up the AS rock, rock for Alan Butler. All right, let's slide forward. I'll be right back, y'all. I'm gonna jump out for a second. All right, y'all. Hey, jump out and use the bathroom real right quick. Gotta give me one in man bun. Am I always talking noise? That is a shit talking device right there, y'all. B and B number three coming on the scales empty, picking up AS Rock going to Allen Butler.
35,400 pounds empty, y'all. It's a heavy, heavy old truck. Goes old Uncle Adam, y'all see him over there? Got her loaded up. Drinking that Popeyes, y'all. Drinking that Popeyes. Yeah, between that white hood and this old uh, white colored dirt we got up here in this part of Caliche, that, that exposure gets a little funky. But y'all get the gist of it. Just trying something different here. Those old Jerry. Ring around the rock, uh, ring around the rock pile, ring around the rock pile, y'all. About 23 on this one, bud. Yep. You gonna load us up. Do my log book. I didn't do it when we got here. Do my log. Do my log book. Jake out there talking. Oh, Jake, you got something to say, don't you? You want to hear him again? You got something else to say. There you go.
back up with the with the scale. One in, one out. One in, one out. Adam weighed 83,400. I feel like I might be a little heavy this time. My suspension gauge right here. Usually I like it kind of between the 60 and 70 pound mark and it's sitting right there on the 70 pound mark. We might be all right though. I was 83, 620 last time. They won't let us out of here over 84,000. Creep up the hill here. Y'all see that machinery there? It's a, that's a screening machine for this rock. It'll clean it. Uh, they put different sizes of screen in there to make different sizes of rock. Got water runs through it. Actually, they'll run it over there to a hot mix. Hot mix plant. They'll run hot mix for for the highway through that through that side of it. Yeah, it looks like nobody, no more inbound trucks. I get to go. Truck number three, Alan Butler, loaded with the AS rock. Get my
Thank you, sir. up to 19 ready when you are back to our log book social media platforms which are uh, listed down below in the description and uh, again thanks for watching and um, like we always say around here 806 driver keep the shiny side up and the hammer down and we'll catch y'all next time
comes that wrench hand again. If there's the same filler or not. Oh, four, we're coming at you down here tomorrow, tomorrow. Ten, four. 